Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia operational report for the Ukrainian operations uh, over in the Ukraine, Russo-Ukraine war or the, you know, the, the fight for independence. Uh, yeah, whatever. So the basically the Ukrainians continue their Ukrainian offensive and they have basically expanded their operation. Things has actually uh, become even bigger than it was before. And I just want to you know, share what is happening over uh so in the main front line, uh, of course, is the Velika Novo Silka sector. Uh, the fighting is still ongoing over at the Makarivka region. Uh, this is still ongoing. Uh, also the attack at Uruzaini. So, um, so this is still you no know, ongoing. This has been an ongoing thing with the Russians uh, making the uh, no, uh, very cannot retreat line over here. Uh, so because Taro Mayorovsky and uh, Uruzaini, there is a crossing over here. And uh, this crossing is very important for uh, for the U Russians to actually hold. If not, the Ukrainians <clears throat> on both sides can actually meet and actually cross over to from one side to another. There's also reports of a push uh, ov uh, over here towards Kermanchai. And Kermanchai is previously known as Okebersky. I, I have no idea why uh, the, the Google Maps suddenly changed the name. They only changed the English name because the, the Russian name or the Ukrainian name was Kermanchak. So the, it, it didn't change. So, or Kermanchik. But the Ukrainian name changed. So that is extremely unusual. Uh, I just don't understand why that happened. And uh, so, and then on the, on the other side, on this side of the front line, uh, the Ukrainians are attacking from Novosilka. They, they have finished their regrouping. They are attacking towards Rifnopil. There is an attack from Novo Pil that was actually taken out by uh, artillery shelling. They didn't manage to go far. There was also an attack from Levatne. Also happened the same thing. How, however, the fighting did indeed still happen uh, near at the Levatne region uh, towards Priyone. And uh, there's fighting near Novo Darivka. So the Ukrainian offensive over these areas is still ongoing with Ukrainian forces continue to reinforce uh, near Novo Donetsk, probably to re restart their offensive for this town over here the the russians uh sense reinforcement uh over at this area here Staro minivka and uh to reinforce uh, their lines from this uh forward operating base or uh, forward operating positions from this area here uh this ao here the area of operations continue to be really fierce and uh, this continue to be the main push for the ukrainian offensive and um uh, there is some talk you now you know from on the Ukrainian side talking about that this is just probing attacks or this is uh, no this is just a feint or this is not even the actual offensive um I just thought that that is quite unlikely because the the, the amount of losses the Ukrainians have taken uh, in this offensive is a lot a lot of sacrifices if you read pro Ukrainian sources they will say the same thing all this fighting and any capture, comes at a great cost and they keep telling their followers to remember that all these wins all these victories come with great cost so no it's not it's not any probing attacks or no diversions these these are actual proper offensives by the ukrainian side and uh and over continuing in within the zaporizhia front we have the ukrainians doing some probing uh, over at the zahine uh so so this is reported by the russian defense ministry they try to you know probe this area here uh this is still not the U russian front line uh, the russian first line of defense or you know the main line of defense is actually over here so the the ukrainians at zahene they are only meeting outposts uh, the forward operating or uh, forward defense lines or uh, forward outposts of the russians and uh they got taken out so uh then there is some uh airstrike reported uh on as uh recon forces as well so that that means within the huyai pole region the ukrainians are actually probing and are trying to recce uh reconnaissance uh to see where to scout out where the russian positions are and we probably might see another offensive uh front happening over at the huyai pole front or huyai pole region or sector of the zaporizhia front and uh tentatively the, the, there's nothing no big offensive over the huyai pole uh, region just yet but as you can see the russian lines here is thinner it's not thin but it's thinner so a ukrainian push in this direction 
makes a lot more sense they're trying to push through you know Oroki, Orikiv or the Koyamsky sector these two just don't make sense uh, in any way or form uh, you want to go around the, the Nazi Germany uh, did not win uh, and conquer France uh, by going through the they are what is that stupid line uh, yeah correct that one no I, I know you remember so Maganot line so yeah the Maganot line this looks a lot like this but probably even more fortified with uh, artillery cannon naval guns and shit like this and this is pretty form formidable for modern day standard so um, the Ukrainians should go around it but you no know, yeah everywhere is fortified because they took so long to do the offensive and uh yeah but this still makes more sense uh and i believe these if this offensive that's going all around Zaporizhia front are not the real offensive just yet then maybe the hoyapole would be but of course the this line is even thinner which is why you know the main focus is over here which is why they might want to push through along uh, this area here where the, the fortifications is only in this area here this uh, this area here has the most fortification and every and from zoria to azov or uh, this line here there is actually no more uh, major defensive lines and this is a prob probable way to go behind to the rear to take out you no know, uh nikoske you know recapture Mar uh, mariopo or something swing swing south attack uh, the, uh all these communication lines i think this makes sense and probably this is why we are seeing the main uh, ukrainian push in this way oh uh the orikiv push you north know, south of the nova danilevka and uh, mother tomashka has been abandoned uh we have no reports two days because uh, i haven't done uh any cibra uh the previous first 24 hours so for two days um the ukrainians have not attacked in this direction so the entire orikiv offensive has been abandoned uh is it looks like they have given up uh it is too too costly and uh, also you know it, they haven't even reached the first line uh, of the defense the fighting over at uh, lopkove continues there is uh information coming from uh, neutral sources uh, saying that the ukrainians have uh, successfully uh, secured this village but this village is really you no know, close to petikaki and uh and it's really a very small village so the, so the ukrainians have secured this and they have made the push to the western part of petikaki and with the aim of capturing petikaki this will give them another you no know, further uh salient or you no know, defense line to push forward where the real russian uh, defenses are you no know, all these are the this where all the real russian defenses are and um this will allow them uh, to push in this in those directions uh however the fighting here uh, based on pro-russian sources doesn't sound very successful uh that the ukraine the ukrainian pushes are not very successful um so that's all from the zaporizhia front uh in terms of the ukrainian offensive and uh we move into the donets region within the donet city region and uh, there is some uh, very uh peculiar thing that is happening uh we have fighting reported over at Staro Mihailivka on the western part of Donetsk. This push and fighting around Krasnohorivka makes very, very little sense because this is a very highly fortified region. And I believe this push in this area here is to draw Russian forces uh, away from maybe the fighting in Marinka region or no, away from the Povomaiske region from the north. And uh, all these diversions will allow the ukrainians to make a major push somewhere else the the ukrainians are still trying to defend uh marinka uh they are con doing multiple counter attacks uh at the russian forces that is currently pushing at marinka and uh, there is also a mixture of uh, information uh, over in the southern part south of marinka and this this uh has been uh reported by surya maps and raiba to be a russian push and then uh, the Ukrainians actually counterattack the next day uh, to try to recapture uh, lost grounds. And there is reinforcement being reported near Boyeda uh, or into this front line over here. Uh, as the previous unit taken a lot of losses, they, they kind of rotated it. So, um, and then there is also uh, fighting being reported south of Vodian. 
and um, this uh, the Ukrainian defense ministry say that it's a Russian offensive. However, under these circumstances, I feel that the Russian defense ministry is a kind of a, a bit more uh, more reliable. Uh, the Vostok Group of Forces say that Ukrainians are actually conducting reconnaissance operations south of Vodian. So maybe uh, we might see another big offensive uh, coming from this region here. There is significant number of forces over the Voleda region uh, and also in the rear region of Voleda, but they are not utilized yet, at least from my point of view. And uh, the Ukrainian forces uh, uh, within the ADF Gun Front uh, have kind of expanded their operations or actually resumed the scale of the operations. Other than the push uh, over at Povominsky, they are also now attacking Vodian and against uh, Stepove region. So or towards Krasno Horivka. So this this cut this uh, attempt to cut off all these uh these two fangs that is uh, going to chew on uh ADF car uh is uh ongoing. This you they need to eliminate these two pincer uh from the Russians. So that is the operations over at ADF car. I don't think it will result in a Ukrainian uh no major <laughs> attack into Donets or going into the rear of Donets. I don't think the Ukrainian forces is ready for such a huge operation because Donets is a massive city and uh, it's be way, way, way bigger than Bakhmut. If we think that Bakhmut is fierce, the fighting is uh, tough. Uh, the eventual fighting for Donets will be crazy. So anyway, um, the Ukrainian forces did not uh, have any operations within the New York region. Uh, within the Bakhmut region, the supposed flanks attack you know, in the north and the south have kind of left with only the south. Uh, the Ukrainians continue to be attacking uh, <clears throat> towards Klyshevka as this is really vital, uh, strategically important for the Ukrainians to hold in order for them to continue their offensive. Uh, the fighting is still ongoing uh, for Klyshevka. And uh, within the Severs run, uh, there is some uh, contradicting uh, in reports. Uh, or fighting to, from Rosdelivka region. Uh, I believe there might be some uh, operations, but maybe it's not very big. Uh, information coming from the Russian Defense Ministry saying that it's a Ukrainian attack at Rosdelivka. So take it what you may. Uh, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry uh, say it's a Russian attack. Within the Crimea front, uh, there is uh, Ukrainian actions. Fighting is reported at uh, Terni. Toske is actually offensive. Uh, Terni was a recon kind of action and uh, there is fighting also near Kuzmine which is more of a recon. So there is still fighting you know, in this region with the main push at Toske. Um, it did not work out very well uh, tentatively as far as, 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 as far as I can tell. And uh, the other Ukrainian operations is ongoing at uh, the Nova Selivsky region as usual. Uh, they are always fighting in this area here. Um, it's like Marinka, you know, they nobody just nobody really seems to want to conquer the, the villages over there. Uh <clears throat> and uh over at Sinkivka as well, the Ukrainians are doing their usual Sinkivka exercise, uh like you know, daily exercise kind of thing. Uh didn't seem to be you no know, doing much uh, of a you no, know, it's not really op uh, offensive of sorts. And uh these are the usual front lines. Then we have very interesting information coming from uh pro-Russian sources saying that over within the you know, the flooded region of uh, the Dnipro River along the Kherson front, uh, we have naval attacks reported at Hola Kristan and uh, also at Olishke. Uh, the, 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 op the reports say that they are trying, the Russian, uh, the Ukrainians are actually uh, landing recon forces into Russian controlled territories and uh, up to seven boats has been destroyed. Two over at uh, Hola Kristan and uh, five at Olishki. And uh, there's also information from the same uh, piece of information uh, from Raiba, the pro-Russian source, saying that the Ukrainians have landed in the islands around Olishki. So the Ukrainians have actually you know, resumed their operations uh, after the flooding start to re uh, recede. The flooding is currently receding. Uh, let me show you. Um, so... Um, this coming, this is this is original uh, before the dam broke, and then uh, this is what happened after the dam broke. Uh, this this uh, satellite images is from Deep State UA, the pro-Ukrainian source, and uh, and then you see 
this is now so you can see that from these two images uh the the flood water have actually receded a lot uh but the water looks really uh green and uh, if you look at the original water and uh, now uh this look really muddy or really you know dirty or it could be very uh fresh water mixed with uh sea water which makes it very uh uh tasty and uh and okay you can also see the vegetation damage uh to the by the water and in at least water are salty water so uh there might be fresh water there might be salty water involved as it mixed around uh with the waters from the black sea so uh vegetation are going to suffer uh in this region here but you can see the islands are returning uh from this flooded ones so the this is probably why we are seeing uh, Ukrainian operations returning uh, uh, over at this region here. And uh, tentatively, based on uh, Russian sources, uh, the flood zones are pretty huge. Uh, Raiba drew the water line like this, this big. The flooded region is this big. Um, yeah, probably probably that's explain why no there are there are desert uh, over this region here uh probably due to the salt uh no from soleda and uh or from the no the viewers that just don't agree with me um yeah so no they are very salty and uh, anyway uh yeah so the ukrainians have resumed the operations over here uh pro-russian sources are very uh nervy about the ukrainians uh launching a new offensive uh at the nova Kahovka region uh, crossing over here while you know, they, they are doing some probings uh, in this area here to divert Russian attention over to this area here where else uh, for mine because they, they, the Ukrainians actually uh, sent uh, artillery you know, over over to the uh, to the Dnipro River region again and but for me I think the Ukrainians are going to land here so the Ukrainians are probably going to land here they're going to take over this part as a choke point and um uh, and then start they then continue to land more troops and then they can launch a major offensive uh, towards uh, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and also you know recapture uh the rest of Kherson region so but no this is just my speculation I uh, just want to let you know that that could be a possibility anyway this is the Ukrainian operational report uh hope you hope you find this useful do comment below let me know what you think and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, do press the subscribe button if you are new to this channel or you're unsubscribed or you're not subscribed. Subscribe, uh, especially if you watch many channels, uh, many videos, because this helps the channel to grow. Uh, the channel need to grow. Then um, I can give you more goodies. <laughs> you know, the, 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 with more viewership, that's, well, there will be more revenues, means I can do more. Then you can get more goodies. So you know, help me do this and I'll see you in the next update.